What's up guys, my name is Phase One and I'm gonna be taking you through a few of my um, top five production tips. Sweet. Number one is, um, is trying to find your own signature sound. Me personally, I came from like a rock slash metal background. I used to play guitar in lots of different bands. I was also the production guy, so I did that for like 10 years. And then when I moved to EDM, like about seven years ago, I wanted to bring my own sort of, my past to the, the current sound I was making. Stuff you hear today, like there's a lot of like live guitar and drums and stuff like that, all from things that I have done in the past. So I, I tried to merge the sound. So I think something really important is to try and find something different that everyone else is doing, I guess. Tip number two, I think uh, a really cool way to achieve tip number one is by creating your own like sample library, whether it's like bass sounds or just drums or effects. Um, that's a really good way to um, just have a sample of, of all your own sounds in one. Like me personally, I tend to um, have like a lot of previous guitars that I've recorded and just I like a lot of the stuff in my songs today, like it's all just chop top guitar as well as like new stuff too. And then um, also like, like um, especially with my metal drums, it's all just like studio toms that, um, and like snares that I've recorded in the past, uh, as well as bass sounds too. But I think that's a really cool way, especially if you get stuck in a slump or like a rut and like um, you can't think of um, things to do, it's like just pull stuff and experiment with all your previous sounds and uh, your own sample library basically. Tip number three. I think it's really cool if people can like create like a lot of sounds using instruments or just at least have a knowledge of like how to play an instrument like guitar, piano. Um, I find it personally, I find it really cool. I, I play guitar a lot. Um, sometimes just getting out of the studio and just playing guitar for a while, it can give you different ideas and like get you out of like writer's block. Give you some cool idea for melodies or chord progressions as well. Um, that works for me personally a lot. I think. Uh, like a lot more producers should be doing more instr instrumentation just because, um, yeah, it's cool and it's kind of makes it, things a lot more interesting than just some MIDI and stuff, so. Tip number four, something really cool that I do a lot is work in audio. Um, I end up bouncing like my sound design out into audio. It's way more visual. I can, you can see exactly where everything is. You can stretch it, you can resample it. All the different, different modes you can use, like texture mode, you can make all sorts of weird sort of stretchy sounds. Um, so I, I know, I think that's really cool. And it saves CPU as well. So that's one I do all the time. Tip number five is don't overthink things, I think. Um, you can spend so much time on one sound and so much time on the mix down and everything. I think don't overthink things too much. Like if something sounds good to begin with, like it probably doesn't need too much processing and you don't want to overthink it and make it make something that sounds good already sound bad. Um, just kind of go with your ear, take breaks if you need to um, and just try and do something a little different but like get the results that you want rather than trying to make it sound like the next like so-and-so track kind of thing. Thanks guys for watching, my name is Phase One, signing out, peace. I'm sure you're going to